I've been making a living as a violinist since I finished school about 16 years ago. I played with a few different symphony orchestras and opera companies in California, and I've gotten to work with some legendary musicians. When the pandemic shutdown began and all the concerts got canceled, I started recording solo Bach in front of the art on my walls and putting the videos on YouTube. I got the idea to commission Nathaniel Stuckey to write a piece for me inspired by one of these paintings. I'd played and heard his music before and knew he'd write something really great. We'd actually met a few times since he lives in San Francisco and I'm in Berkeley. I've been collecting different kinds of art for several years and asked him to pick any painting as his inspiration. I have all my walls covered, so he had many options. By coincidence, he picked a painting by an artist who lives just a few blocks from him, Rachel Dwan. I first met Rachel at Artspan Open Artist Studios and followed her work until I saw Shadow Breaking, which I brought home just a few days before the shutdown began. Painted entirely in grayscale, Nat said he was drawn to Shadow Breaking because it evokes the quiet and often solitary struggle to find light in periods of darkness, which was the sort of music he felt like writing in response to the pandemic. Nat got started right away and gave me the first draft of his composition in July. We worked on it together through the summer, then I made this recording in November. His piece is the first of 15 new works I've commissioned, all inspired by paintings in my collection. I've been composing my own pieces inspired by the paintings as well. The sheet music for Shadow Breaking will be available from Shermer and American Music Publishers after the first live performance takes place later this year. 